Many people get intimidated by impact sprinklers because there are a lot of adjustments on this. So let me show you what the various pieces are. Now the water comes out of this nozzle and sprays out this way and it goes past this screw. This is called the diffuser screw. When it's screwed out, you get a big jet of water. When it's screwed in, it goes into the jet of water and it diffuses it so you get um, a more of a mist instead of a really strong blast of water and it doesn't go as far. Then the next thing is you have this, all right? This is the deflector. Normally, as the water comes out, it would just go straight out. If you want it to adjust how high it goes, you can put this deflector down into the stream of water to kind of bend it a little. You'll have to play around with that on, on this particular model because it's it doesn't really make a huge difference, but worth trying. And then the other thing is how far does this spin? Now this one, if you take a look here, you'll see there's a pin sticking down there. And there are these metal things. As the sprinkler moves, the pin hits those metal things and that's as far as it will go. So to adjust it, you simply squeeze these and move them. So for example, like that, it doesn't go very far. If you squeeze them and go like this, it goes further. Even if you overlap them like this, it will not go in a full circle. So if you want it to go in a full circle, you need to lift up this pin here, get it out of the way and now it'll spin in a full circle. So let's turn on the water and see how that works. We'll try not to get you wet. Oh, hold on, why are they not like, oh. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm turning it the wrong way. <laughs> okay, and then I will lift the pin. Where is the pin? I'm oh, sorry. Okay, lifting the pin. And let's get out of the way because it's going in a circle. 